to the Kent Lap Podcast. Has music been a passion of yours since you can remember, or when did that start for oh, you? Yeah. Um, I've been playing guitar since I was probably 11, I think. Okay. And i um, 35 now. Um, I'm 36. I just turned 36. Uh, I didn't realize we're that close uh, in age. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah we uh, grew up with a lot of music in the house. And you have siblings? Yeah, I got a sister. Um, okay. She's two years younger than me. Oh, okay. So just the two of you. Yeah. And you were the oldest. Yep. In North Carolina, right? Yep. What part of North Carolina? Uh, Western North Carolina, up in the mountains, uh, outside of Asheville. Oh, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Pretty area. Far from here. Yeah. Yeah. Like how close to Asheville? Uh, probably about 30 minutes. I see. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. It's a beautiful area. Yeah. It's real pretty out there. Yep. So you grew up in, in North Carolina. Were your parents musicians? Um, they weren't musicians, but well, my mom played guitar a little bit, which is kind of what got me into because she had this old ovation acoustic that she played for years back in the 70s. But, okay. Uh, they were both, and my dad, great singer. He always wanted to be a country singer. And, oh, yeah? And, yeah. And he was always singing. We always had music on. Um, mom was more into rock. Dad was into country. Okay. And, what, was, what would your dad sing? Like he would um, sing country, he just wasn't making a living doing it? Or would he sing no, like no, gospel or something? Or he, would, he, he would just sing whenever he was drinking and hanging out at the house oh, and okay. stuff. So okay. he would sing for people, but he never never really wanted to like get out on stage. I think it was more raising the family at that point. Like sure. My parents came down to, they started in Tennessee. They both met up in Detroit. Okay. Um, and this was like the early 80s, I guess. They moved to Tennessee. We had... All the family on my mom's side was still down here, except for her, mom and dad, my, my grandparents, well, they were in Michigan. So okay. the whole family pretty much was from North Carolina, moved to Michigan looking for work. I see. And then mom and dad came down, um, and the plan was to get down to like Tennessee, North Carolina for a little bit, and then they were going to go to Nashville, and, mm. and they had me. So and then they stayed, <laughs> they in, North stayed in North Carolina. Yeah. What was going to bring him to Nashville? Uh, Music. Dad, he was going to try to do some singing. Really? Yeah. And then but, they had you and stayed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So your dad made some self sacrifices for yeah. the family. Yeah, and um, they always did. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I mean, every parent does. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, they had um, had me and just stayed in North Carolina and had my sister and and so now you're. You're making it like you're in it, like you're you're doing music. This is what you do, and you're good at it. Like that must be really <laughs> satisfying for your dad. Yeah, they they love it. They love you have a good relationship with your parents. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. They're uh, they're both still alive, both still married. Yeah, um, in, they're still in, in, North, in Carolina. North Carolina. Yep. Okay. Do they come to Nashville some and see you? They have not in a while. They're both okay. working pretty hard, so okay. uh, they just haven't come over in sure in a while. But um, I get to go see them quite a bit. Yep. Is your dad? Um, does he communicate? Like, does he tell you, like, he's proud of you? For, oh, yeah. Does he? Oh, yeah. He'll tell that to your face? <laughs> yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's, uh, they especially, I mean, they were proud when I was doing like, my old bands, kicking around, playing in town, and yep. going on tours, and then um, once I got in three doors, all of a sudden, I was like, whoa, this is yeah. this is real deal. Like, he's, he's not joking. And yeah, for sure. Around that same time, I'd moved out here, and so they knew I was serious about it. It wasn't just messing around, getting drunk in bars. Right. There was like a serious drive for it. So yeah. once I was in like a professional band, it, they were proud before, but then it was like, whoa, all right. Like he's actually yeah taking it serious and doing it. So, yeah, it's legit, man. Yeah. So guitar at 11. And then what did you, What other? because I know you play bass now, so I'm, I'm assuming I know you play at least two instruments. Where did you go from there? Um, mostly focused on guitar. Um, that's kind of what I was passionate about. I was playing guitar oh, yeah. and should have bring your guitar. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think about I it. I didn't even think to jump, <laughs> jumped in the truck and came over. Um, but yeah, I think around 14, maybe, um, I started playing at church and that was a big thing. Like around that time, late nineties, early two thousands, when all the, like there was like that big push of like Christian rock bands were coming around, like Third yeah. Day, Jars of Clay, yeah. DC Talk, all that stuff. Yeah, that was late nineties. Yeah, that was so, in my high school years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was like my early, my late middle school, early high school years. Was, okay, all that stuff was pretty prominent, and I was going to a, a Baptist church back home that, like, the youth group really pushed that stuff. So really, yeah. So whenever whenever we do music on Sundays and Wednesdays and Tuesdays and like we're 
at church all the time. Okay. Um, it was that kind of stuff. It wasn't like old hymns. It was. Oh wow! You know the band was was rocking, which was kind of like I think that was the big introduction for me taking music seriously was going and playing because they you know they just kind of outsource whoever was in the the youth group at the time. Yeah. To to play. Yep. So that got me going with, with bands. I think really early. Mm-hmm. Um. And then from there, I was just like always making a band in high school or something. Wow. Playing about all the bands or doing whatever. So that was a big, big push there for the yeah. music side of it. Do you know what a power chord is on a guitar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. That's all I know. Um, That's all you need there, to know. There was that one DC Talk uh, song. So I had a guitar as a kid too. I'd always wanted to like learn the guitar. I'm not a musician. My mom made us take piano lessons and I always hated it. And she just thought that her reason for making us take piano lessons was actually so that we would learn how to read music and we would sing. So we grew up in church also, but we went to a Mennonite church who was a cappella. We had no okay. piano, no organ, no, no instruments or drums or anything. Uh, but it was like four part harmony. And, um, all I ever like could sing was bass. Like I couldn't really sing tenor. It was too high and, and, and all that. But, um, but uh, so she made us take piano lessons, and then finally she let me take some guitar lessons. So I did, and like I never like made it past the very much the beginner stage. But I learned. A uh, buddy taught me power chords on that one DC Talk song. It's like dum 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 dum. I can't remember the name of the song right now. Um, well, that's all I remember is like I had those th- those three or four power chords, and it's still occasionally if I go grab the guitar, I can still remember the power chords. It doesn't yeah. sound very good, but it's like, oh, if you would hear it, it's like, yeah, that's that DC Talk song from back in the day. Well, yeah, that stuff will come <laughs> back. Thank yeah. You just... And yeah, I also remember about DC Talk. It's so funny that you were kind of in that world too, because I remember a DC Talk album on a cassette tape in our tan Ford Ranger driving home and someone had snuck the tape because we weren't really supposed to have that kind of music. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, sort of worse, sort of weren't. Like it was it was kind of frowned upon, but kind of okay. You know, it was just kind of right on that gray area. <laughs> and a friend had snuck us that DC Talk tape. And I just remember playing it like nonstop to and from school when I was like 16 <laughs> or 17. <laughs> DC Talk, man. Jesus freak back in the day. Yeah, yeah that was the, yeah. That was the big one. That so was you, that big push too around them where obviously like there was... The secular music going on and there were the christian bands that were like approved by yeah you know like the life weird yeah christian church stuff so there was always like if you love nirvana you'll love yes jars of clay yes. or something so then no, i always, remember that exact same storyline yeah, yeah so like that same time too like we we're listening to that stuff and it's great there's still like cool things about it but we go on church trips or something, and I was buying like Stone Temple Pilots records. And, oh yeah, like, having to hide them and stuff. So <laughs> it was a it was an interesting time. Yeah, Deftones. I was really into Deftones when they came okay. out, like like the real heavy stuff. And yeah, got a got a very interesting mix of music through yep. high school. Audio Adrenaline was back yeah. then too, right? Yeah. Jars of Clay. I mean, Jars of Clay had some good songs, honestly. Yeah, they had some um, great songs. there's a bunch that, of like kind of punk rock and ska yeah. bands that came out. Like, yes, I was in a bunch of ska bands, like the full horn section and everything. Okay, like, um, which was fun. Um, yeah, there was a bunch of like Christian based bands like that that were coming out, which was that was the heyday so for random. that type of thing. Yeah, but that's sort of cooled off, hasn't it? Andrew, you're what mid twenties. Late twenties, actually. Late twenties. Mm-hmm. Twenty what? Uh, twenty nine. Okay. Oh <laughs> no, twenty eight. Okay. <laughs> my own age, live on um, air. Do <laughs> like, were you were you in on the DC talk days and all that? You would have been a touch younger. Big time. Oh really? Yeah. 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 Those were the days, man. So at this point, you're playing guitar. Mm. Um, you're singing. Yep. And any were you doing any other instruments in these church bands? Um, every now and then I'd play bass. Because it was like really simple stuff, and it'd be like, "Hey, we don't have anybody to play this week, and you play." It'd be like, "All right, okay. I'll try it." So it was very, um, not what I do now, but okay, kind of taking a stab at it just because they needed somebody for. Did you get places. lessons, or just does a friend teach you, or not on you bass? Learn it? Like that was just it was kind of guitar. I had okay on guitar. I did lessons for a little bit. Um, one. I can't even remember what year it was, but it's probably about six weeks of lessons. Um, okay. They were a little too expensive for us at the time. Okay. So uh got some good basic stuff from a 
a guy back home named Mike Barnes, and mm. he play, he's played with a bunch of people in town. He's like a, you know, kind of well-known guitar player, especially there, and played with Warren Haynes a bunch. And, okay. Um, pretty sure he still teaches, I think. Um, but, yeah, I did a couple lessons with him early on, which kind of got me that basic setup. But I This think is the, for guitar, not for bass. For guitar, yeah. I see. Um, yep. And then the rest came from playing in church, playing with other people in high school and stuff, and kind of learning from playing with other people. Yeah. And the bass was just like, hey, this is, at the time, they were like, this is, this is like guitar, just play the, play the one note. And I was like, all right, cool. I don't need that. <laughs> so uh, I had enough information to kind of pick it up and mess with it, which is okay. kind of how the three doors thing started, too. Many years later, I had enough to kind of pick it up and get, get started and yeah it's been a learning process ever since so were you what's interesting about that is you had six weeks of lessons i had six weeks of guitar lessons easy i probably had more than that and i just never went like when i say i never went anywhere with guitar that's exactly that's that's it is what it sounds like it's not good so do you think it's in the blood or in your blood or do you just think you had that you had that drive you had enough of talent but also that inner drive that you would just play around the guitar and toy around with it and I guess back then you wouldn't even watch YouTube videos, right? I mean, no, it wasn't really no a thing. Yet. There was no, no YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> did you have buddies that you would like go around and play with, or how did you like, or did you just sit down and just start to teach yourself the guitar? Yeah, I think that was the thing. There was a lot of other friends that were playing, um, and I always tell people like I, I don't think I have a whole lot of like natural talent. Like I've never been a savant at something. Like I just pick it up and play. I've mm-hmm. got friends who can. Yep. Um, I got to work really hard at like everything. Okay. So I think that was the big thing. Maybe that is my talents that I can like work yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, but I had a, a huge passion to do it. I always wanted to play live. I always wanted to be on stage performing for people. And I kind of knew I had to keep getting better and better and better. Okay. And um, I always just kind of learned from everybody around me. And okay. at the time, then especially, I was always around bands. Like everybody was playing, like I said, in church or at, high school stuff like I was always kind of immersed in other people who were learning too or getting better than me mm-hmm. or whatever it was and I just absorbed everything I could mm-hmm. I think that was that was the big thing was was learning from other people and then I'd sit at home and kind of mess around and then I, I, I noticed like every now and then I'd get lucky finding something by ear okay and um yeah I think it was kind of just a big Big mix of that. You listen to a lot of music too. Yeah. Sound like your dad liked music, so yeah. he would play a lot of music. You would listen to it. Did he play guitar at all? No, he just sang. Interesting. Yeah. So you grew up in a house like you were the only one. Yeah, it's the only I one. Know. Still the only one playing instruments. But, oh wow! Does um, your sister sing too? Yeah, she sings. She's got an amazing voice. Oh yeah, yeah. She can sing her ass off. Yeah, um, that's great. 